Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, we're talking Spider-Man. That's right, we're breaking down the latest Spider-Man trailer, rewrites to the ending of No Way Home, and how long will Tom Holland play Spider-Man on the big screen? Let's drop it. Now we got a bit more proof that more than one Spider-Man not named Tom Holland will be making an appearance in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home film. Yeah, and while Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield weren't revealed in the latest trailer drop, Sony left us some subtle signs that would lead us fans to speculate that we'll be seeing more than a single spectacular Spider-Man swinging on set. Now the trailer appears to include an obvious attempt to hide a spoiler like how the Avengers Infinity War and Endgame trailers had all sorts of fake or modified shots, but we know what to look for now. Now let's start with the Brazilian version of the new No Way Home trailer, which you might have seen by now as it's been making its rounds on the web. Now in it, you see Tom Holland's Spider-Man leaping towards Jamie Foxx's Electro, Sandman, and Lizard Man or the lizard, I guess. Now this lizard man named the lizard might need to go see a doctor about that neck of his as you can clearly see the lizard spazzing out as he almost uncontrollably turns and looks to his left as if he just saw Captain America in his peripheral. Don't say it, don't you say it. left. Come on! On your left indeed. Or maybe this lizard man is getting punched in the lizard face by the invisible man. But last I checked, that's a universal monster, not a Marvel superhero. Now Sony's editors might want us to believe otherwise, but fans immediately speculated that this particular shot edited out either Maguire or more likely Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, and that in the actual shot from the final version of the movie, we'll see the three villains clash with all three Spider-Men. Now, it's a logical assumption, seeing as there's no way a single Spider-Man would be so bold as to try and make a move on three main villains at once and expect to survive. And while Doctor Strange is involved, I doubt he gave Peter Parker some weird power to, I don't know, bend air and smack the lizard in the face. Now, there's also this scene from the trailer that's a little telling of what we can expect. Peter Parker. Okay, now while that line doesn't flat out confirm that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is in the film, it does allude to there being more than one Spider-Man. Now as such, the potential of us seeing all three Spider-Mans fight side by side is seemingly possible as we approach that December 17th theater release. Now honestly, I'll tell you right now, if we don't see Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield show up in the trailers as they drop, I'm fine with that. Like, I think it'll be more satisfying to all of us seeing them make their grand appearance on the big screen. Like, you already know they'll both make an epic entrance with audiences going insane in theaters. Now, let's just save that energy for when it drops. But you know what, I wanna toss things to you all. What do y'all think? Are we gonna see three Spideys web slinging it up together? Do y'all think that's gonna happen? Comment down below, let's discuss. Now more Spidey news, uh, we should talk about the No Way Home ending. Yeah, relax y'all, no spoilers. I haven't seen the movie myself either. It's not even out yet, yeah. Now, but talking to GQ, Tom Holland revealed that the ending was written in real time on set. Yeah, now apparently Holland felt the script wasn't up to snuff, so he kept stopping to talk to the director, John Watts, behind the camera. Yeah, now they apparently sat down to come up with new ideas, which were then pitched to the writers who rewrote it to fit within the film. Now GQ reported that rewrites were done almost on a daily basis. Now this was being done while filming, which is crazy. Like Kanye West did the very same thing with his latest album Donda and honestly I'll tell you right now, that is subjectively a masterpiece in my eyes. So honestly hoping we get something special when the movie releases. And finally, your final piece of No Way Home news for today. The big wigs behind the Spider-Man movies want Tom Holland to continue to play the titular character for years to come. But, ah, da, da, Holland is not so sure about that move. <laughs>
Yeah. Now, continuing his interview with GQ, Holland spoke about hanging up the web shooters and the future of the webhead by saying, quote, maybe it is time for me to move on. Maybe what's best for Spider-Man is that they do a Miles Morales film. If I'm playing Spider-Man after I'm 30, I've done something wrong. Well, I'll tell you right now, Mr. Holland, if you can still fit into the Spidey suit at the age of 30, well, you've done something right. You know, probably, I don't know, a solid diet filled with vegetables or something. I don't know. Anyways, while Spider-Man is historically depicted as a youthful superhero, there is precedence in the comics of him being well into his 30s. But to Holland's point, eventually you'll have to move on and maybe Marvel Studios should make way for a fresh take on the web slinger by exploring how Miles Morales might fit into the MCU. Like we already have three Peter Parkers. We got three PPs, bring in one MM, shall ya? Come on, do it for the people. Now with Into the Spider-Verse and a PS5 exclusive Miles Morales video game, remember that game? Y'all remember, it was dope. The character has become more mainstream and recognizable than ever. Now, I doubt any of us out there would object to seeing a live action version of Miles Morales spinning up some webs, maybe as a protege of uh, Tom Holland's Parker to start. You know, the sky's the limit on the big screen. Y'all already know. And that was your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lewanton, and thank y'all so, so much for watching. Now that you're all caught up on the news, go check out uh, the No Way Home trailer. Go check out the latest trailer, see if there's any Easter eggs in there that we may have missed or the internet may have missed, which is honestly impossible. The, the internet never misses. The internet never misses. It has a, just an infinite, a finite level of just hitting all the time. Let me just shut up now. Download the IGN app on all your devices and everything else. Keep it locked right here on IGN. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate.